Buzz. Buzz. Oh no, that's that's okay. Hold on, let me let me just do this. All right, make sounds into your into your mic. Hey, what's up? Perfect. Oh my god, I can hear myself. We're in business. So weird. All right, here oh. we go. Shoot, I just moved the overlay on accident. Okay, which screen should I be watching? The big one. Okay, cool. Why are you over there? Come sit over here with me. All right, cause I gotta run this thing. All right, cool. Dude, you got bodied. We're disobeying your orders. All right. So we're starting off Equinox versus eight inches. Uh, Excuse me, Shaniquinox. Shaniquinox, you're right. So, this matchup, there's no way this is anything better than 65-35-0 suit Samus. But 8 inches is pretty good at this game, so we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, 8 inches just beat SBF, so... Yeah, I saw that. That was already uh, pretty beating crazy. Already one unfavorable matchup for the dwarf. Dude, if you think this matchup is bad, Diddy Kong Ganon must be like 70-30. Jesus Christ. Although Equinox does have really good movement. Uh, most DSS mains do. Um, and Ganondorf, if you have movement, Ganondorf cries I would say cries Equinox is, maybe this is just the character, but his punish game is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, DSS does that too. Because I've played Equinox, and like, I've been at this point where we're like, we're going even, and it's like a minute in, and then I just die. Like, this could be it. Although nope. percents are relatively even, like, uh -oh. oh, wow, okay. When I meant like die, I didn't mean like that. So... And Ganondorf is not a kill percent yet. Uh, he's, he's a rather heavy lad. Uh, this is Zero Suit Samus. So, he's always been a kill percent, but I do know what you mean. Like, a rogue backer is I not mean, if he him. gets taken to the top with a nut B, he yeah, certainly is, yeah. but that bear is not going to do oh, it. Oh, is this it? No, it's not. Oh. I'm telling you, Ganondorf, he's a heavy lad. Yeah, he's you're He's big right. boned. That should, that should be it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, despite the SD, Equinox has managed to bring it back one stock apiece. So, we'll see how he does. Ooh, good landing option. All right, no tech. All right, yeah, he does get down tilt on, yeah, uh, that was, on DSS. Yeah, that was guaranteed. Some characters that are not, he's not get that on. He will on DSS though. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's like the human characters, like Marth, Captain Falcon, Cloud. And uh, if, if eight inches pulls two upsets, this would be a good tournament for eight inches. He's uh, already beaten Joe and and uh, and SBF, so that's two Diddy Kongs. And I'm sure he wants to fight that third Diddy Kong JJ in Winners Finals. If he beats Equinox, he'll get to Winners Finals. Uh, this is semis right now. Oh, sh you're right. Uh, wow. Look at Aegis go. Semi, solo Ganon. And right now, the percents may slightly be in ZSS' favor. Oh, they're not. Either way. But, um, Ganondorf, ZSS is at kill percent. Like, she was, like, 20%, I guess. Uh, yeah, Ganondorf is a little scary, but... Like, an up smash, the biggest thing is, like, you gotta know when you're at kill percent with up smash. Yeah, and then just stay away, play as defensive as possible. And then never it's... roll in again once you're at up, once you're yeah, at up smash kill never percent. never roll off yeah. the ledge, never roll towards him. The hard part is is if you're ZSS and you whiff a grab, oh, that might be lights out. Oh, that is lights out. That's why I play Lucina against uh, ZSS. You're just running up smash them. Dude, Ganon's running up smash. He might be slow, but that up smash is coming out fast. That up smash is definitely pretty deceptive. So, that should did be you the see though. Equinox bait out that side B? That was pretty slick. I don't know how he got past the side B without the command grab, but he crossed him up and then up beat him right out of it. Like, Equinox knew he was going for it. That was pretty good. So, game one goes to Equ Equinox. It was not convincing at all, but he did SD. He so did SD. Yeah, that is true. We'll see where 8 inches wants to go with this counter pick and uh, see what kind of adjustments he makes. And uh, hopefully get a game three. I saw him go to Lilat when he dropped the game to SBF. I did. I saw that too. He, dude, he spiked S SBF at like 30% just straight out oh, of barrels. Oh, he's going to Sheik? He, 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 uh, what? You won, dude. You Sheik, not know how this Sheikwinox? works? Is it Sheikwinox? Sheikwinox? Okay. <laughs> now he's Sheikwinox. <laughs> I did not know he had a Sheik. Now the problem here is you better you better be on point with your gimps because if you don't, he's Ganondorf, needle he's gonna needle camp him or on that. FD. Is he? Is that what he's gonna do? You better be on point with your gimps, needle camp him until you time out. Otherwise, you're not gonna kill yeah, Ganondorf Aquinox until 200. Yeah, reads the side B once again. Just knows when uh, eight inches wants to go for it. Good needle fidget. Ooh, bad air dodge. What was Equinox doing right there that allowed him to get hit by Warlock kick or Wizard kick? Uh-oh. That is so unfortunate. All right, he will uh, take that. But we are going to take that. Um, so I see Equinox doing these short hop air dodges, and I'm like 90% sure she cannot do anything out of it and then hits the ground with lag. I, I, but uh, what do I know? Oh, maybe fair, he's fair, still playing Yoshi? Fair. This is why Ganondorf is bad, because you oh, my literally goodness. cannot do... Oh, oh he wanted the win box? Did he want that? No. I don't know if he wanted it, but no, it was No, cool. he was going to recover anyway. 
Ganondorf has like not that bad of a recovery vertically. It's deceptive, yeah. Yeah, it's deceptively not shitty. Don't we're not gonna say deceptively good. We're just gonna say deceptively Deceptively not bad. It's not his it's brawl not recovery. As, <laughs> as bad as you would think somebody like Ganondorf would yeah. have for a recovery. It's his airspeed that's super bad. His airspeed is awful. That's what gives him a bad recovery. That was pretty wise actually. Uh low recovery would have been caught. And uh, she yeah, can't worst, do too much. Worst case scenario, you just get back on stage and eat a little bit of percent. Yeah. Ooh, good spot dodge. This is, oh, dear lord. Yeah, and all he has to do is throw these needles. So, and Ganondorf can do nothing yeah. about it. Yeah, honestly, I... You guys should all be glad I don't play Sheik, because I would just needle camp. You honestly. guys should be glad that I don't play Sheik. <laughs> I'm ruined. That would be awful. You just be like, all right, Connor, pick the duck hunt. <laughs> Needle camp on duck hunt. Let's go. Gonna camp the tree as well. Fishing for these uh, tipper up smashes. I don't think he's gonna land uh, land it anytime soon. Because I'm pretty sure. Uh, if I was a betting man. Oh no. You know what? I bet tipper up smash beats wizard kick because it's got iframes on the arms. Does it? I did yeah, not know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It for sure would win actually. That's why he's going for it. If anything, it will trade, and then that's not a big deal because he yeah. has a stock. And Ganondorf so dies. Are you sure Ganondorf gets down tilt on Sheik? No, it's Ganondorf does not. Oh, that's what he got on Zero Suit Samus. Yes. Right. Yeah, okay. You said about Zero Suit Samus because he got that flame choke and he didn't do anything. I was like, that could have been a stock. All right. It looks like Equinox going to winner's finals. Yeah, that was a very convincing 2 0 once he switched off to Zero Suit Samus. Um, I'm not sure if it had to do with the, the matchup because I feel like just top tiers like those characters would poop on Ganon an equal amount. But Ganon gets pooped on a lot. Yeah. He's, he's basically a toilet. I'm like convinced Marth. Ganon is like 70-30. Like, probably even worse than I mean, what does Ganon do, do against 